Welcome to Teal House Farm. Today, what's today, Annie? Hospital day. It is. It is surgery day. So Annie is getting ready. We just got here. We're gonna go in. Annie is going to have a. Ow. My fingers. Annie's gonna have a procedure done called SDR, which will help to reduce and relieve all this tightness and spasticity in her right leg and hopefully make it easier for her to walk and help uh, turn her leg back out so that um, she doesn't, her gait doesn't continue to deteriorate. So we can walk for a very long time, right Annie? So it's easier for her. And a really, really big shout out to Paul and Brooke for letting us crash at their place last night. It was so nice to be really close to the hospital this morning. Let's so. go. Let's go. Yep. Are you ready? Let's go. They just gave us a call and said uh, they're finishing up so we need to go upstairs again and the surgeon's going to meet with us and talk about how things went. Okay, we just spoke with the doctor and he said everything went really well. Um, she's doing great. Anesthesia still has to wake them up. With little kids, they're really careful, especially with kids with seizures. They're really careful about waking them up very slowly. So it's probably going to be another 30, 40 minutes before we're able to go back in recovery and she's ready to be woken up all the way. Little man has had it. 
<laughs> he wants to wiggle, but he can't wiggle in here. So, and Daddy is now man hungry that he's no longer nervous. So, That's let's right. try to find the man some food. Strawberry. I will see you later, Annie. I'll get out of the way. Bye. Daddy, take good care of you. Yep. Okay, so uh, first day is pretty much behind us. It's the end of the day. Patton and I just left. Sam's going to spend the night tonight. Um, Patton and I are going to go spend the night at uh, Paul and Brooks again, which is what Sam's brother and sister-in-law um, where we spent the night um, last time because it's closer to much closer to the hospital than our farm uh, which is nice so we're gonna get up early and head back in from what I've heard from other parents the next day is kind of the hardest day um, pain management wise and keeping them comfortable on their back so I kind of want to be there as much of the day as I can so we left um, it's about five o'clock we left I'm stopping at Walmart here Bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum. gonna pick up some really easy things for breakfast lunch and dinner tomorrow that sam and i can eat in the hospital room uh, because hospital food is really expensive and ordering in to the hospital is really expensive <laughs> so um i figure i can just pick up um some things that are really easy just some fruit and some sandwiches maybe um much cheaper than we could feed all, feed the two of us. Um, obviously, Annie's meals are provided as part of her hospital stay. So we're going to do that, and then we're just going to head over there, get to bed early, um, and then just get up early and try to get to the hospital. I'm hoping by like 7, between 7 and 8, get there so that I can be there most of the day. Um, so we will be bringing you, um, I'll have a kind of a compilation video coming up here after she gets discharged. She's going to be in the hospital for six days total, um, starting from the surgery day and then five days post-op in the hospital. Um, so we'll kind of keep you up to date. We'll have a video coming up that'll have all the rest of the in-hospital days so you can see her, um, how she's improved. We already noticed a difference, a noticeable difference in her ankles. Um, usually her left ankle is always very normal. If you want to talk about, you know, an ankle being like a door, her left ankle was just like a normal door where you give it a little push and it opens, you know, it'll move kind of just with a little bit of force. Her right ankle was like trying to open a door with rusty hinges. You just had to put like all your body weight into it. And yeah, it could move into all the positions an ankle should move into, but it was very hard to do. And now it feels much more loose and natural, which is amazing. Because uh, think about how much easier that will make walking. Uh, she has a lot of therapy ahead of her to relearn how to walk correctly because she's been walking depending on that really tight muscle group um, to hold her up. She doesn't really have any true muscles in that leg, I guess you could say, because she's just been relying on the tightness to do all the work for her. So lots of work coming up, but we know she's going to do great and we're really excited for her and we're excited for just the difference that we see already, even though she's basically just laying in a bed sleeping today. Um, but she's pretty chipper. She did wake up and eat some dinner um, and watch some TV and just kind of has dozed on and off. So we will be back soon. Thanks so much for watching. If you um, are watching this because you are looking for videos about SDR, uh, maybe considering it for your child, I'll link the information page below from St. Louis Children's Hospital so you can learn a little bit more about it. Take care and see you soon.